Hey y'all, welcome to the Transamerica Trail. Here we are on the western side, we are tackling the TAT. Got two friends with me, total of three vehicles, and in this video I'm gonna highlight exactly who's driving what and what options each vehicle has. We'll start out with my homeboy Matt, Marine Corps veteran, all around badass. He uh, pretty much is running the maintenance and stuff on the camp on a three week trip here. What are you thinking, Matt? It's been really good. I mean, uh, a lot of dirt roads and some, a little bit of technical stuff. It's gonna get more technical. I hope so. What are we riding, Matt? 2014 BMW GS 800. And it is a nice GS 800 with lots of options. I know they got the ceramic coated headers and that Jesse Hardbag luggage, which is good stuff. We had a mishap with that already. It went down the highway yeah. and it fared well. Yeah, yeah, nothing wrong with it. Running the climb helmet. It's awesome, man. And dude, it breathes like amazing. And the Gore-Tex gear, looking good, man. Big shout out to Climb for hooking up my boy Matt. He's got also the camel tank on the back, which is a big deal for running across these mountains. It uh, you don't have to worry about running out of gas. And you're running the Shinko. Yeah. The Shinko tires. Shinkos, man. And how do they feel? Yeah, I love them. On and off road, good. Yeah, they're they're great both. Looking at my bike, I have got the 2017 Africa Twin. I am running the full Moscow Moto luggage system. It's all soft bags. They just quick on, quick off with a duffel on top. My tent is a lone rider. It's an excellent tent for moto riding. I have the Kenda Big Block on the back for my tire. I've got a one gallon roto pack stuck underneath my Outback. You see them right there. Outback Motor Track. They build all these crash guards and my luggage racks that are back there. And it's set up so that I can put that roto pack back there as well. Got the Moscow Moto tank bag with the bladder in it, the water pack in it. This I keep my knife, GoPro camera, it's on a stick so I can just whip it out and ride. This is one of my favorite features right here, my cell phone charger. So this is the new Ciro mount, but check it out. You know, my battery's pretty full right now because it's always charging, but no cables. I just set it in there and boom, it starts charging in and out, never messing with cables, draping, wrapping them around. Love that feature. Running the Garmin GPS system by GPS Kevin. See what else I got in here. I got the high lift kit, high fender kit from Alt Rider and their, their headlight guard, and that big old bash plate. Big old bash plate, also from Outback Motor Trek. So, this is my 2017 Honda Africa Twin, and it's performing tip top. Lastly, we're gonna meet my homeboy Logan over here. Logan, how you doing? Awesome, beautiful morning out here. That's right, so Logan is in charge of all those beautiful shots you see coming down the road, and he is running this Chase vehicle, which is a 2020 Jeep Gladiator. We had a Jeep on the last trip, and uh, it was just a Rubicon regular Jeep, and we loved it so much that we decided to make Jeep an official staple on this channel, and we went to Jeep Gladiator. How's it riding so far? Awesome, awesome. We're gonna lower the tires down a little bit in this softer sand and stuff. Cool, what pressure are you putting them to? 26-ish. Okay. Down from 37. Sounds good, man. So this is, as you can see, the official K River campground truck now. But we worked with a couple really rad companies to get it capable for a trail like this. We knew that this trail was gonna be a strenuous trail. We went to Four Wheel Parts, and they did all the labor and service to make sure it was put together properly, and it was gonna stay together and last for us on this trail. One thing I like about Four Wheel Parts is that they are located all over the country. We went with the uh, Warren Evo 10,000 pound synthetic cable winch. I think it's called like Fabtech bumper. But the real impressive thing are these 39 inch BF Goodrich tires, which I think turned out perfect on those method rims. But the suspension system, you see that? We went with King and they got these huge remote reservoirs and it's actually a two and a half lift. And this lift actually came from my friends, oh right here, check it out, Evolution Off-Road. They got the Evo suspension lift, two and a half lift. So we aligned with them to get the lift on this bad boy to give it the stance that we wanted. It looks really good. So the Jeep's doing good. It's ready to tackle all these mountainous trails. Look at them all. So that is it. Those are our three machines, our three riders and drivers, and your official Transamerica Trail team. We're gonna try to give you guys the best shots and the best footage we can, hopefully adding this Jeep to the story as well for all you Jeep lovers out there. I don't know, it just makes it fun. We're trying new things and doing new things and absolutely loving it. You guys ready for this trailer or what? Let's do it! <laughs> you gotta love Logan's energy. Matt? Yep. 
Yeah, you gotta love Matt's energy too. All right, guys, we will see you in tomorrow's video where we will actually share our first trip of the trail. This video was just to show you what we're riding so that somebody who falls into a video 10 videos from now, they can look back and see exactly what we're doing. We don't have to repeat it every time. Thinking, we'll just put links up there. All right, y'all, until next video, y'all stay stubborn out there. And remember, all those countries that are watching us, this is some of the best off-roading trails America has to offer, and we're gonna show it to you because we are the Americans. Americans.